Redland.farm. Quick little video on a simple battery bank. Uh, these Renogy, they had a good deal on them on Amazon right now. You know the prices change a lot, but 200 amp hour, it's a gel battery. Down here, though, I think those are better than AGM because I'm pretty sure they can have twice the charging cycles depending on what level of drawdown you have. But they think they have a negative if you're in freezing weather. They're more difficult to charge or they're not good for as cold, good for cold weather. But anyway, the way I hooked up the battery bank is it's 12 volt and it's um, in parallel. So you hook up, you know, most people know a parallel setup is positive to positive, negative to negative. And there's a lot of controversy about, you know, it'd be simple to take to the load from the same battery, but it's better to do, at least my research has shown, from one battery, the negative, and the positive battery, the other battery. That way it does everything equally. However, I will say there was a pretty good spark when I hooked that up. Um, and the bad thing about this battery is there's no post. It's just a bolt. So it's hard when you hook a bunch of stuff. You got to get it in there. And with the spark, here's a tip that I did. Because you don't want to hit your hand on there and get that spark. You put a piece of tape around the socket. And then you put the bolt in there and it holds the bolt in real tight. And you can hold it in. You can work it and then just get it in the hole. And when the spark, you just, uh, I just had the power drill, drill it in there. So basically what I got is 400 amp hours at 12 volts. Watts, I believe, equals volts times amp hour equals watt hour. And I have a, probably it's a little under undersized, but... Basically, this isn't like a solar battery bank. This just, you charge it up. It's charging up right now because I just got these batteries. And that way when you need it, it's charged up, ready to go. I have a Whistler 2000 watt inverter. And then I'm going to run a plug to the ceiling where I need it in the garage for backup power. And... Another tip, when you mount this, I put these on. You can't get these off without taking the inverter. I would have put these on the other side if I had planned that out. And I don't know, it had a it had a place for a ground. So I just ran the ground into uh, another ground. I don't know how important that is. And it's probably not a good thing to have. I'm going to put a cover on this to keep... And store stuff on top of it but you got to be careful with these metal hoses i mean it's not by the positive and it's not a good idea to have it under a water heater because of that spring a heat a leak could probably short something out too but i'm not so worried and always when i do a i, I like using a lot of fuses so i would i put a 300 amp i'm not sure what the best size is you could probably get away with 200 or 100 amp you got to do the conversions of you i'm only going to run like Maximum 1500 watts off of this at one time and the charger has its own fuse too So that's basically kind of how to set up a simple battery bank. I really like the big size batteries like I say and um, well, Let me turn it on for you here show you I don't know that it's good to turn it on while for some reason this takes a while I'm not sure if that's an error code, but it seems to be working. It shows you it's at 13.47 volts after charging, and the 000 is what's in use, I believe. But it looks like it's all working. I haven't really run an extensive test on it or nothing. Uh, so, hey, any questions, put them in the comments, and it might take me a while to get to them, but hopefully somebody can offer some suggestions, or I'll get you. Bye.